Let's go. Welcome to the last working week of the month of September, year 2022. Today being Monday, the 26th day of September 2022. And this is your lab boy today. For your lab boy today, we are reminding you of what God said to the children of Israel, but which is still valid for us today in another dimension, in another way, in another interpretation, but still with the same spirit, asking us to make an offering and sanctuary to God from willing hearts. That's our topic. Make an offering and sanctuary to God from willing hearts. We'll be reading from chapter 25 of the book of Exodus. And if you're set, we go now. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel that they take for me an offering from every man whose heart makes him willing, you shall receive the offering for me. And this is the offering which you shall receive from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue and purple and scarlet stuff, and fine twined linen, goat's hair, tandram skins, goat skins, acacia wood, oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense onyx stones and stones for settings for the ephod and for the breast piece and let them make me a sanctuary that i may dwell in their midst according to all that i show you concerning the pattern of the tabernacle and of all its furniture so you shall make it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is God himself speaking here, giving specific in information to Moses about his requirement of volunteered offering. Voluntary offering. It's not compulsory. Let me read that to you again. It says, take for me an offering from every man whose heart makes him willing, a willing offering. And all kinds of materials were to be brought together to decorate the priests and the altar and the temple generally. And that was what the children of Israel did. Now, for you and for me today, there are two dimensions that we can look at these things. One, we still have churches and congregations and buildings that are used by the church for different purposes, for service, for fellowship, even schools, and such other projects. You need to make an offering to the Lord concerning this. Help those projects to grow. And as far as I am more concerned, the more important one is that you must recognize that you yourself, you are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, you must rededicate yourself to the service of God and make sure that you fulfill the law by loving the Lord with all of your heart and with all of your might and then being good, showing love to your fellow men. Because that is the summary of the law. Therefore today, in making an offering and sanctuary to God from willing hearts, then you must be willing, first and most importantly, to dedicate your life to Christ. And then to be of service to the household of God, to people of faith. 
help those of the household of faith? Is there any that is lacking in food, in clothing, in shelter, in other materials, in school fees, in such other things, in counseling, in, 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 in mentoring? You should be involved in all of this. And then next to it, just repeating myself, is that are there projects that may facilitate this the more? Because that that I have just mentioned should be the business of the church. And you are part of the church. And you are supposed to make your own contribution. You can directly affect people positively. And you can also make contributions to projects of the church that others will also be of service there and volunteer and make it easier for them to be of service to God and to the people. So are you already in Christ and making offering and sanctuary to God and willingly doing so? And if you are not yet, then I want to offer you an opportunity now by inviting you to also give your life to Christ, making that the first offering that you will give. So that you can recognize that you are now yourself the temple and then the Holy Spirit will come into you and you yourself, you will be able to use your life as a sanctuary to glorify God. And then that you will do willingly. If you are set for that experience, just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I come to you now. I also want to make an offering and make myself a sanctuary of God. I am here with a willing heart. Father, forgive me. Forgive me of all the evil of my past. And from today, give me the opportunity to start living a new life in you. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, welcome to the field of Christ. Find a Bible-believing church around you. And like I always recommend, if you happen to be in Oshobu, Washington State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension. There you will find us in the chapel hall for now of the Olive Branches Maryland High School. And you can join us every Wednesday, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon. For midweek services on Sunday for our regular services. And as you go right now, say, God, help me to give in support of your works. Help me to give myself also completely and willingly to you to serve you and to serve humanity all the days of my life. I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Remember to make an offering and sanctuary to God and do it willingly and the Lord will bless you in return. Amen. I judge you faithful. I call you faithful. I call you the